Hi guys, welcome to TechCrunch again. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to assign a static IP address to the Beagle Bone. I will start like this. Here I have connected the Beagle Bone black to my Mac, and you can see that here the Beagle Bone is connected, and it has given my Mac an IP address saying 192.168.7.1, and when you are connecting the beagle bone via USB, because here I have connected the beagle bone via USB and it's assigning a default IP address 192.168.7.2. So that's the default IP address which is assigning to your beagle bone when you are connecting it via the USB. So you can you can see those details on their own website as well. So to connect to the beagle bone, we need some kind of a sequential version, sequential software. So you can use Putty or anything like that. But today I'm using the Google sequential beta application. You can you can download this extension from Google uh, as well. That means this is coming with the this is coming to the Chrome as an extension. So I have installed that one and. When you click that one it will show you this interface so here to connect to the beagle bone I'm just we have to give the address of the beagle bone here so it should be root at now we know the default IP address which is assigning to a beagle bone when you are connecting the USB it's 192.168.7.2 so here you have to type that one and it's the username is root and the IP address is this one and this one this is very useful this is the port number always the sequential beagle bone it's connecting via the port number 22 so after putting 22 there and the beagle bone static IP address which is assigning to the USB port is 192.168.7.2 by giving those details and hit enter and you are connected to the beagle bone sequential interface right now so for example i will type ifconfig there and it will show you all the all the network details which we have currently assigned there so as i said earlier I will start from the bottom of this one the USB 0 the port which I have connected right now it has given the IP address as 192.168.7.2 so that's why I wanted to show you as the default IP address of the USB 0 port is 192.168.7.2 this is assigned by itself so that means when you are getting a beagle bone this is defaultly assigned to your beagle bone so that's why i knew it earlier as well so let's let's start with our thing now we just need to set up a static ip address when you are connecting the beagle bone to a ethan to a via the ethan port so for that one we just need to go to these steps first you have to type sudo and i'm going to use the nano editor here sudo nano slash etc slash network slash interfaces there should be a space here sudo space nano the editor space slash etc slash network slash interfaces when you press enter here you can see all the network all the current network setup is there i will start from the bottom this one because already you know that the ip address when we are connecting the usb connecting the beagle bone via usb was 192.168.7.2 so how did that get the ip address this is where it's configured 
this static IP address for the USB port is already set up there. So now you need to set up a static IP address for the Ethernet port. Here, if you see this one, it's already assigned as auto E Ethernet 0 IFS Ethernet 0 INET DHCP. So this is where you have to make the changes because if you if you're gonna assign a static IP address it cannot be like this so we will comment out that two lines and this one as well so for the more clearance I will write down the new lines here then you can clearly understand what's going on I have copied these four lines and I will add, add that in the description as well and you can see in the bottom there it's almost the same here uh, for the USB 0 they have added those lines as well and like that here we will add the same things to the Ethernet 0 port as well. For example, it should be auto Ethernet 0 and IFS Ethernet 0 should be static. That's the main thing. That shouldn't be DHCP. So if it's configured as DHCP, it's getting an IP address from the DHCP server. So that's that's not our main target. We our main target is to set up a static IP address there so you just have to add those four lines there and edit it according to your needs for example now here if you, if you need to assign a static IP address say 192.168.2168.7.25 for this X and Y you should put 7 and 25 and the net mask is like this 255.255.255.0 and the gateway should be 192.168.7.1 so after adding those four lines this this line was already there but i just commented out and i grabbed that down just to show you all these things in a single place so auto ethernet 0 and ifs ethernet 0 i need static this line is the most important thing and then you just have to address that one that means you have to give give the address which you need your beagle bone to have when you are connecting the beagle bone via ethernet cable to your network so it should be in my case it was 192.168.7.25 and the gateway was 192.168.7.1 so if you are assigning like this and if you press ctrl x and it will ask you want to save these settings and press enter and no it should be the y and it's asking whether to write these new details to your file and press yes and it's all saved and if you give the beagle bone reboot then and if you're gonna connect the beagle bone via a network cable with the ethernet port it should and it must assign that static IP address to your beagle bone so that's how you're gonna take a static IP address to your beagle bone when you are connecting it via the Ethernet port so I hope you guys got a clear idea about the process and if you guys need any help regarding any beagle bone issue just leave a comment below the video and we will try our best to help 
as much as we can and subscribe to our channel then you will never miss a new video thank you guys again see you then